Now, I was into older women, and now I'm dating a girl. She's eight years younger than me. And you know what that means. Emojis. <laughs> lots and lots of emojis. And look, I don't mind if you put a smiley face in the text, but when your entire message is nothing but pictures, I don't have time to solve your little puzzle, kiddo. What do you want to say? You know what, just pull that handle, get out of the trunk, and tell me exactly what you want to say. Now, older women, older women, they know how to text. When older women send a text message, it's short, concise, to the point. It's like, come over, bring alcohol, get tested. They're serious about this. And what do you hear about older women, boys? What do you hear? You hear they're great in bed, right? And that's awesome. What worries me is, how did they get that good? Because you start thinking about it. You're like, wait, wait, wait. Nobody just wakes up the star of Cirque du Soleil. That takes years and years. It's intimidating. You hook up with a cougar, you go back to her place. And it feels like you're walking into old Yankee Stadium for the very first time. Because you're just thinking about all the greats that have played here before you. She's got jerseys retired in her living room. Sign above her bedroom door says, play like a champion today, and you got to slap it. <laughs> That's how I was going to do it. I was going to meet an older woman. We'd fall in love, spend the rest of our life, the rest of her life together. That's how you do it. Because with an older woman, you never have to have the kids conversation. Are we going to have kids? Are we not going to have kids? If they wanted to have kids, they already took care of that. That kid's a teenager, and I'll punch a teenager. If you're old enough to skateboard, you're old enough to get knocked off it, okay? I never wanted to be a parent, because then you got to raise kids from birth. And you can't discipline kids the way you used to be able to. You can't. Like, if you try to spank kids today, they're going to tell on you. <laughs> they're going to find an adult they trust, a teacher, a news crew. They're going to rat you out. When I was a kid, if you were the tattletale, that's why you got spanked in the first place. And I think my parents did it right. Because when we were kids, if we acted up, we got spanked. We got spanked. That's all that ever happened until the road trip. Remember the road trip with your family? Discipline at 79 miles an hour on the highway? I was an Air Force brat, so I move around all the time. Every road trip, same situation. Dad drives, mom's in the passenger seat, three kids in the back. Now, as soon as the road trip begins, my mom passed out. <laughs> She's asleep. Something about spending time with her own family really made my mom drowsy. She's out, so now dad's got to take care of everything. And if we got loud in the back seat, the first thing my dad did, never yelled at us right away. First thing he did, he just got really quiet, <laughs> focused, like he's planning exactly what he's going to tell the authorities after this bloodbath ensues. <laughs> and then if we got louder, that's when it got physical. That's when you see dad driving with this hand. <laughs> then this hand comes off the wheel. This hand grabs the wheel, so this hand is free to just hit whatever he can find in the back seat. <laughs> he was good. He did like three good ones. And then we're like, oh, he's done. Nope, there's a second half to this game. Mm. And that was always cool with me and my older sister because we always made my little brother ride bitch. As soon as that hand came up, we're like, get in there, Robbie. Learn some life lessons. <laughs> and if that didn't shut us up, all he had to do is go to level three, which is where he says, if you kids don't shut up, I'm pulling this car over and I'm going to spank you in public. And if you saw that today, somebody's calling child services. Back when I was a kid, other cars saw that and started honking their horns. The police come by. That's awesome, dude. Sober Scooter comes by. Can I play with those kids after you're done? My name is Mark Ellis. You guys are fantastic. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more laughs on Access TV. Live from the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City, Dave Landau is taking the stage when we return.